Hey y'all, it's Charity, and I'm here with another tutorial in celebration of football returning. Let's do a cowboy shirt. Um, so in Google, you can look for a logo. Do, 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 do. I will go with the plain star. Let's see. Yeah, so just download it. I have one actually, so I'm going to use that one. Okay, then I'm going to go find something that is Saints related because the um, t-shirt that the girls are wearing, it comes in like a pink, uh, a pink, like a red. And if you can see down here, I already got this Chiefs. Uh, look at that lofo. I'm holding my son at the same time. Um, so let's just grab a Florida lease. Um, shirts are going to be black. So let's just get this little thing. So save as. As you see, there's no background, so it's a PNG. Put why do I keep doing lofo? Okay. So I'm here with it. Um, then I want to bring in my girls. Well, typically, I like to do like a color burst or something. And I do have a colorful one, which you have probably seen on a previous tutorial, but I use it in a, let me think of what it is, explosion, is it explosion, color, color powder explosion. <clears throat> Okay, so it's this. I love this. Bringing it in. I'm going to go ahead and take away my background. And let's just show you what this looks like with the color overlay. Not terrible. It is like a super, super splat moment, I guess. Splatter moment. That is edit it, transform. Take this off to unlock it. I want to stretch this to my liking. Um, if you don't know, I do not like square edges when it comes to images and shirts. Um, I think personally it looks a little tacky um, simply because there are <clears throat> ways to design around something like that. For example, this, when I press this, it's not going to be a square. I don't know, y'all. It's, it's a real thing. I just do not like it. So I'm going to bring in one of my girls uh, with a white shirt. She's going to be on the Dallas Cowboy team. Okay, I'm going to leave her there. Then I'm going to bring in my cowboy logo. Mm -hmm. Bringing it in. Okay, and I already color matched with this, um, this background. I have that in my color overlay. So that's why it matches perfectly. And you see, you take this down to size so that it will look realistic. Click on it to see the position. I'm going to make my whole screen. I'm going to take to 25. So, yeah, her shirt looks perfect. <clears throat> One thing that we can change is the shoes. So, I'm going to click her. I'm going to go here to... Um, layer what i'm actually looking for is a um let's think 
color range. Layer, is it here? Type, no. Select color range. Boom. So it's going to look at what we have on the canvas right now. So you're going to take this plus, which means, hey, this is what I want you to see. You go over here to these pink shoes. Um, pretty much. Okay, you see how they accidentally got that? No. So we're going to take that away. Or really just let's start over. So cancel, go to color range. Sampled color. Kind of click just all around in the shoe. For the most part, you're going to get it. See how, and then it tapped into the white. Not what we want, so we're gonna do that. <clears throat> what we do want, let's see if we can just click image so you can. So we want. Let's go back and see selection. Okay, it kind of grabs in some white, but you know what? I think I want to leave it because you can um, erase it. And okay, it's a no. I'm going to try to zoom in more. Select color range. Let's try this again with a little bit of zoom so that I could accurately, you know, things that I want. Mm hmm. Just kind of click until you see this kind of <clears throat> getting more covered in your desired areas. As of right now, you can see the heel of this um, starting to tap into some whites because you see right up in here. So I'm just going to click OK and instantly. The areas that are selected shows up. So um, then I'm gonna go to select. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna go to hue saturation. Okay, this is gonna <clears throat> toggle up, and if you change, boom! Let's look at your shoes. Look at your shoes. And as you can see, like there's still like some white pieces left in here, even a little pink. And that's fine because the white signifies light and, you know, gives that shiny effect. I don't really like white shoes. Let's see. With a darkness hmm. you can also click this colorize thing right here and it lets you see right here what is your uh, what your color is looking like <clears throat> see like right in here blue let's try to take it down a little um, let's zoom in so you can really see. Oops. Oops, I'm trying to push 75. Okay, my number lock is on or something. 75. Zoomed in. You can see these are the specs and areas that we missed. So you can always come back in and clean this up. Or you can just not worry about it. Okay, going back to the bigger picture, I'm going to take it to 50. Come up. Okay, shoes are proper. 
team is ripped. Let's go to layer so you can look at this. You want to, okay, you can move the girl and then the hue saturation still be there. Let me show you. See that? The hue saturation is only in that area. So what you have to do is um, hold your shift and click both. And then link layers. Now when you move, the color moves. Okay. So now let's just readjust. Um, let's take our size back down. 40 or 30. Oh, yeah. So it's down. Blue, blue, blue. And then this girl, I'm going to bring in another girl for a different team just so I can be fair. Sassy girl. Let's give her a new hairstyle as well. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to come in with y'all for the saints. Here we go. A little saint. Same thing with the shoes. You can fix that later. If it bothers you. For me, not so much. Not my team. Not my problem. A uh, quick access. Go get your saints logo. Pop it in, make sure this is locked, and just scale it down, down, down. Mm -hmm. Looks a little smaller. Okay, just so you can see it. Boom, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring in another person. Uh-uh-uh. I never bring something in like that. You probably can. Um, let's find another put another girl. Okay, yeah. Bringing her in. <clears throat> She's a cheat. So place embedded. Gonna bring in a chief slow load. It's locked at the top, so just scale it down, down, down. And although that did fit at a bigger size, you want to think about the realis realistic aspect of your shirt. You see how there's like wrinkles and stuff in there? Make it smaller. Because if not, it should be wrinkles in there. Or we could work on um, a way to blend that kind of brings in the background. But that will be a different tutorial. So I'm just going to come through and link the girls with their shirt logos, which is just link layers, saints, and this. Link layers, cowboys, and the whole shebang, link layers. So now when you move these girls, do, 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 all is well. You can put a cute little something or other, not even this background anymore since I decided to be more inclusive. But these girls, um, on your gear. I'll show you the finished product. I may do one more little segment for you to actually see what um, I come up with. But there you go, guys. You've transformed these regular girls into NFL babes. Um, yeah. So I hope you like it. Guys, if you purchase your images, don't copy, don't share. Do the right thing. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time.